So we have our lab quest. On the top of the lab quest is where we can plug our sensors into. Uh, it doesn't matter which channel. Plug it in. It should automatically detect the uh, type of sensor. Notice it has detected a force meter or force sensor. Uh, we can zero it by clicking on the screen, pressing zero, and then we could hook our sensor to whatever we like to pull and as we're pulling what we need to do is just pull across uh, we don't want to pull up because that is also getting the gravity so we just want to pull straight across we don't want the uh, sensor to touch the table as well because uh, we're also measuring the friction of the uh, sensor against the table so we want the sensor to be somewhat elevated uh, off the table um, but we don't want to slant it too much of which we're also giving gravity um, now when we're ready to actually record um, we can press the little play button here and it's going to start measuring the friction so we can at the same time pull and then we have our graph here and what we could do if we wanted to pick a, a specific point we can just click on the graph itself and you see that the it's showing the amount of force in newtons um you can see it's changing if we wanted to get the average over time we can just click on the screen and drag and let go and you see that this part of the graph has been highlighted then we go to analyze go to statistics click on force and then it'll tell us the statistics during that time uh, so it tells us the minimum the maximum and the mean so we know that the average amount of friction um, is over here during this time that we highlighted um, if we want to get back to the original screen we click her here and that's it if we needed to change the um, length of time or the rate i believe we can just click on that screen over there and then we could change the samples per second we can change if we click back over there we can also change the amount of time that we like to measure for and that's uh, how we use the force uh, sensor in lab quest